Hello! So today I'm going to do a fashion video because I haven't done one in a while and I just realized this. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to look like a cartoon character in real life. Okay, so. First thing you need is, well, a big thing is colors. Um, mainly red, yellows, and blues just because those seem to be the base color of most comic books. Kind of. Um, if you think of Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Shazam, they all have red, yellow, blue. Uh, so, but you can also go with other colors. First, you just need bright colors. But, first, your makeup. For ladies out there who do makeup, I just do mine like this all the time, as you guys know. You can also do other kind of makeups you want, but I personally like the little thing. It makes me feel like a comic book. It makes me feel like I'm wearing a mask, even though I'm really not. So it's like, yeah. But, okay, so I'll show you my outfit, and then I'll explain it. Just let me, let me focus on the background here. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. I hope it's not blurry, but this is my outfit. As you can see, I have the, the POW. I have the, the comic print here um, to go with it. I just have the skirt that is high waisted. I could also tuck this into it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I like oversized shirts. Um, but this has the comic print on it that makes it like kind of like super heroey. And then I got some leg warmers. If you want, you can have leg warmers. You can have thigh high socks. You can pull them down and have like low leg warmers like this. Um, but a colorful top with a neutral bottom, or you can have like a colorful bottom with a neutral top. You don't want to go like too crazy. I'll show you an example, guys. Hang on. Okay. So, I have more comic clothing to show you. So this is a comic dress I have. And it's got all the like the comic strips kind of, and like the lettering and the writing. But this this is something that you could wear if you want to look like a cartoon character or a comic book character in real life. Given uh, subtly look like a comic book character without dressing in cosplay. Hey, there's nothing wrong with cosplay. Something else you could do is it's a colorful bottom. So this is a skirt with a comic print. You could wear that. And to go with this is kind of like a neutral top because I feel like if you wore this and this, it would be overkill with the pal and it's like you're trying way too hard and we don't want to have that. So with that, you can have a basic t-shirt. I have a Nino Cooney one. You can have a regular comic shirt. You can have um, just a plain shirt. You can have a gamer shirt. Really any kind of shirt that goes with it. Um, but this, it has the same colors in it. It's got the red the blue and the yellow in it and that the skirt has so it kind of matches but then it's black so it's kind of like subtle so it's not you're like it's not like trying too hard and then for shoes you guys hang on yeah. I got just some plain black sneakers these are vans you can wear these I like these with them also if you want to get a bit more fancy I have these two kinds of shoes here. I like these pink. These are baby pink and these are high heel sneakers kind of and these look really nice with this. I wear these with it. But then also I have these shoes that are like Japanese kimono print and they're they're all in red and, and blue. And I've had these since 11th grade so that'd be like, I've had these for like five or six years now and these shoes are like tough. They go through everything. I wear them in the winter, I wear them in the summer, I wear them through puddles, I wear them through snow. But you can wear basic shoes or you can go a little bit more fancy with it. Um, for, for accessories, if you guys want to do accessories, I don't really have any large bows up here. But you can always do a hair bow when in doubt, do a hair bow. Also, if you want a necklace, I have a World of Warcraft one here. You guys can wear something like that. You can also just wear like a little charm necklace. For that, for bracelets, where is it? I know it's somewhere here. Hang on one second. It, here it is. Haha. -ha. Okay, so a couple months ago, a couple months ago, I won a contest done by um, Trade Chat on YouTube, and she also 
plays World of Warcraft and League of Legends, and she does like the Insider Weekly for the WoW Insider Weekly and stuff. But I love her; she's fabulous. Um, if you don't know who she is, I will. I'll link below, or or you can just Google search Trey Jeff. Um, oh, also for hair, I have pigtails. I don't really like pigtails, but I wore them because I thought they were kind of cute. But now I'm seeing it on camera, I really don't like them, so I'm gonna take them out anyways. But okay, there we go. Um, but she sells bracelets in her shop, and I won her contest, so I got one. And her dad made this when he was in the hospital for um cancer. So she sells a whole bunch of really cute things on her Etsy store. There, and see so bracelets you can just do like a simple platform so there you go this is how to dress kind of sort of like like a cartoon comic book character kind of sort of i hope you guys enjoyed this if you want more like this leave a comment asking um leave a comment telling me what kind of things you would like to see done fashion wise because i've pretty much hit every main one i've hit hipster grunge pastel goth um i haven't done prep if you guys want to see prep, leave a comment. Also, if you have other ideas, leave a comment below. Because the reason I haven't mainly done a fashion one was because I was away for a while. But it's because I just don't have really any more fashion videos to think about. So, you guys give me great ideas for my videos. So, I love you all very much. I'm going to go. I will see you. Also, um, I'm still taking questions for my Q&A video. If you go to my Facebook page. There's a status down below somewhere about it. Um, you can also inbox me questions. You can go on my Tumblr and send the questions there. I have a whole bunch waiting for that video. Just this is the last call because probably the next video is going to be that. But I love you all very much. Um, I started my IOP this week and it was last night. And it's a lot better than the place I was going. So that's good. It's a haul of a drive. It's an hour each way. So yesterday I left my house at like... Um, because it's usually like 3 to 7... But yesterday I had to go in for one, go in at one, so I had to. Leave. I left my house from twelve and I didn't get home until eight, so it was like, it's a long day. But, um, but that's all. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Bye.